Welcome to Smokey Approve, and this is episode 168, and on this one, we have somebody who I watched the Chicago Be Like series for a couple years now. I don't watch every episode, but I tap in from time to time, be like, oh, what's Chicago Be Like now? And, and they're always good. Corporate been on his shit for a long time, but I've never sat to listen to his music. He does kind of feature it a little bit in the background of the, the videos, but that's like 15 seconds here, 20 seconds there, so I'm like, oh. This video drop. Let me check this out. So I put it to the side. We're getting to it now. Adding it to the rotation. If you are a corporate fan and you like, oh, you sleeping? Dog got records. Please put me on because I've not listened to his music. This will literally be the first time I've actually like sat and listened to his music. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to currently get to 500 subs. So if you could please hit that subscribe and like button for me. We are on our way right now. We got 255. So we're almost there. Thank you to everybody that has joined the team. Thank you to anybody that's gonna join. Please do. Join up with us. Come on, man. Let's let's get into this music. Let's be real about it. But uh, the smoke you approved. I'm journalist. Let's go. Bow bow. Okay, okay, okay. He got that. What's that? That jagged edge straight out of heaven. That's that sample. That's the. Oh, hey boy, you better you better go off. You better go off. Over blue, I ain't even gonna hold you. I just want my bitch back. Hey, I don't want to say it's like a Jersey bounce, but because it's not, but it's more so like Chicago House. And does he normally rap on Chicago House beats? Because if so, like I ain't heard a nigga trying to rhyme on those since like, ah, fuck man, I don't, yeah, Vic Mensa. Because I, I didn't want to call him Vince Staples. I was like, what is that nigga's name? Don't say Vince Staples. It's Vic Mensa. I, I ain't heard anybody do that since, like, Vic Mensa. And, like, make some shit I want to listen to. So that's why I'm like, hey. Shh. He up my alley already. I just want my bitch back. I just want my bitch back. I just want my bitch back. Everybody hate fuck up friends. All them hoes getting diss tracks. I was only fucking hoes. I was going to get right back. Sneaky links, a couple midnight snacks. Never hit him at the crib, cause I ain't built like that. I was only trying to whoop shit. Brittany was thick on the gray, she had a waist tuck. Never had my line, I only called her on Facebook. She used to slide on the block. I ain't gonna lie, she had a bomb on the top. Wait, but when it came to Ashley, one no smoke. Some cool loudy, she a dope goat. Shorty had. She was only fucking with me cause I hit it better. Tiffany, I swear she barely had me. I know she used me just to get back at her baby daddy. And Katie never got the link with her. Shorty never had a babysitter. Tweaking with these rat hoes until my bitch figured out my passcode. She was blue, shorty bugged up. Now I'm sick, well, I'm fucked up. I just want my bitch back. Okay, so the format of this song is is very modern, but it does like it forces the replay. So that's how you run the numbers up. I, I'm partially I, like I understand why the the format is the way that it is, but I just as a songwriter, I don't like that shit. However, to get back to just this song, the hook works perfectly for the production we have. It does it is it a little stiff? Yeah, but it's more so in like a, a oratory style is the way that he seems to be wanting to like rhyme and be like a rapper. And obviously I'm not listening to nothing, but I feel like that style does work for this. And then I like how he flipped the bar. Cause he still ends with the same type of end rhyme, but like the way he gets the diss track is not the same. He got there for every other bar before that. So I'm like, yeah, like that's, I see some technical, technical skill, in the songwriting that's why i'm like okay i might be more, i'm more intrigued than i thought i was because honestly i thought he's just gonna be a funny nigga making a funny nigga record but he's he's talking some real rapper shit like shit that every other rapper talks about i got multiple bitches and they got caught up and shit he just want his bitch back it's very typical but the way that he's thought to approach it has made it different than what i would normally get from everybody else so that's why i'm like hey i'm actually not mad at this because for me like when i hear niggas do shit i'll be like oh like I take this seriously. So 
how serious do you take this when you go in there to do something I take seriously? And how I feel is you took this seriously. You really tried to make a song and get across a particular message, and you did the job. Is I don't know, like, again, he's also... He ain't out here making claims that he's trying to be the world's best rapper. He's just making music. I'm like, I'm totally for those niggas. But when you start talking about I'm the world's best rapper, well, then I'm going to start judging you like that. But when you just out here just trying to make a good song, well, nigga, hey, this is a good song. You can't deny this to beat. It's hot. If you done been outside a little bit, you you can't tell me you can't relate to this. You can't tell me. Like, it's a very relatable song. And shit, just on the, the funny aspect, because he was smart to package this with a motherfucking music video, you, you're going to be laughing at this shit because all the visuals pair well with every bar that he's really trying to get off. Like, oh, like, oh, shorty was just fucking with me because she was trying to get at her baby daddy. Had that nigga come in while he snuck out the door. Like, that shit was on time. I couldn't hit this shorty because she'd never get a babysitter. What this nigga doing over here in a house full of kids falling asleep on the couch because he ain't getting no draws. Like, hey, it's just, it happens. It happens. But, uh, yeah, this is good. Uh, let me know some more corporate music if I see, need to check it out. Like I said, I already fuck with the Chicago Be Like shit. So, hey, I hope that shit blow up and they, they let that nigga get a little TV run. Or if he's smart and just want to keep it on YouTube and just get a bigger budget, do that. But I wish the boy nothing but success. I fuck with this. Hey, that's it for me on this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.